What's going on Yon Nation and welcome back to the channel for a Cyberpunk 2077 guide video. This time on all the items that you can acquire and place in your apartment to make your pad as vibrant and lively as possible. Spoiler alert for those who haven't finished the game. Many of these pieces of memorabilia are unlocked through quests we'll talk about, so if you haven't finished 2077, well here's your warning. If you guys remember, CDPR mentioned that we will be able to decorate our apartments to a certain degree, and even our life paths will have some weight into what our apartments can look like. So today we're going to be going over all the items for V's apartment and how to get them, which is definitely going to be for those of you who want to add some personality to the place, as well as for the completionist players out there. So some of the first collectibles you can actually acquire for your digs comes from purely completing each of the life path segments. If you have completed the Nomad life path, you'll have a Quadra vehicle with the backers logo on the hood. If you complete the Street Kid life path, you'll have an Arsaka building or a Night City diorama on your desk. And if you complete the Corporate life path, you'll have this Arsaka clock or timer. Now you obviously can have all of these at once, as you can't complete multiple life paths in a single playthrough, but nonetheless if you do finish a life path you will have something on your desk. Moving on to the left, you can also get some posters from Jackie by completing the Heroes quest line. This is a side job that unlocks if you send Jackie's body back to his family in the Dalaman Excelsior after the heist mission. This will cue Jackie's ofrenda while you'll take part in a ceremony honoring Jackie. You can also claim his iconic pistols La Chingona Dorada here which does fit into your weapon wall back at your place. Now by the way in part 2 I'll show you how to complete your weapon wall as well. After you've completed this you will have Jackie's posters for his apartment back at yours. Moving on let's go to this entrance space where you can fill it up with 4 distinct items including the Paralus poster, the Lizzy Wizzy and the Metadorfs poster, the Space Oddity painting and some scuba gear. For the Lizzy Wizzy poster you have to complete all chains of the quest with Lizzy Wizzy ending with the side quest called Violence. For the vote for Parala's poster, you have to finish a chain of quests ending on Dream On. Now if you are interested in some of the theories about that specific quest, there is a really cool conspiracy video in the pinned comment. For the scuba gear, you will have to finish Judy's chain of quests ending with Pyramid Song. You can unlock this quest by completing Pisces and by not playing along with Maiko. Absolutely amazing quest, make sure that you're doing this one, it's one of the best pieces of side content in the game in my opinion. Now for the Space Oddity poster, you will have to finish the Space Oddity side quest. And this painting will be guarded by Militech. Just follow the chain to the outskirts near the Badlands, take out the guards and pick up the painting. Moving into the little living room here, we have another item on the side. This is the virtual slash augmented reality game called Big Trouble in Haywood, which you actually do play with River and his niece and nephew during the quest following the river. Once you have completed this quest, you will have it as an item in your apartment. I believe that you also receive this regardless if you let the kids win or not, so it shouldn't really matter. Now for Mortal Kombat lovers, you can also obtain a scorpion statue for the table closest to your apartment's window, something that you will receive in the quest with Alda Caldo's member Mitch called I'll Fly Away. Next to your bed, we have two collectibles and my personal favorites of the bunch. The first one here is the Dreamcatcher given to you by Misty if you complete the Fool on the Hill questline. This is a quest where you have to find and scan all the tarot card murals in the city. If you guys also want to know where two secret tarot cards are, I will link you to a video where I show you where to get them. Anyways, once you complete Misty's quest, she will give you a dream catcher which is automatically hung on your back wall. Next we have the Zen Master's Altar. This is given to you by the Zen Master after you complete the chain of quests that start with Imagine where you simply have to watch meditative brain dances. The final brain dance is located in North Oak featuring a scenic view of Night City and after experiencing it, the Zen Master will be gone leaving behind this collectible. Another one of my favorites is for you to actually get a pet in your apartment called Nibbles. To do this, all you have to do is exit your apartment and go to the left where there will be a garbage bin with a feed the cat shard in it. Read it and set some food down on the bowl right next to it. Fast forward in time and there will be a cat munching down on that food and you can pick him up and take him back to your place. Finally, we have this Arasaka troll plushie which can be obtained by pre-ordering the game. Now some of these collectibles will also show up in the other apartment you receive in the Legend of the Afterlife ending although they will be in different places, so regardless where you decide to kick back, you'll have the fruits of your labor in your general vicinity. Thanks for watching guys, let me know what your favorite collectible is in the comments below, and for more content, join Neon Nation by subscribing to the Neon Arcade.